Continuing to work on it and record and practice and keeping those videos up and engaging with your listeners, that's probably the, the, the best way to start about it. Um, and also I would say look into when you're ready for it, when you're, whenever you're ready with your debut EP or album, look into, uh, there's, this, there's this site called Bandcamp, where uh, it's basically kind of like SoundCloud too, but like a lot of bands, a lot of, a lot of rappers, and, and actually singers too, um, they put all of their, all of their singles, um, EPs, albums, they'll put them up on there and you can either download them for free in, in exchange for um, emails or you can actually do a pay for play, which means like you can have someone choose the price that they want to pay for your music. It can be free, it can be 99 cents, it can be $10. I've seen people charge albums for as much as like $50. So like those are those are a lot of developing artist avenues I think you should you should look at too. Okay, well, thank you. Well, round of applause everybody, that was a good question. That was a good question. Go ahead, Ty. Hello, my name is Ty. Hold on, hold on everyone, we have a question, we have a question, hold on. Um, my question is, if you're a new unknown artist, how would you, how would you, like, get yourself noticed and publicity? Oh wow, that's a great question. Um, what do you think about that? Um, well, I will say there's a way of like putting out music and dry calling or emailing, like based off of if you if you know that someone's on Twitter, you might be able to say, hey, look, like send send your music to someone on Twitter or on SoundCloud privately, and like consistently doing that. Um, a lot of times on SoundCloud, if you look at if you look, if, you're, if your favorite artist is on SoundCloud, a lot of times their managers, they'll have their managers and contact information listed there. A lot of times people actually respond if you send music directly to the email, they're listed there if they're not getting a response um, in the, privately in the DM. But uh, I would say too, like, it's, it's definitely tough now that social media is like basically where a lot of artists do get, uh, get noticed and basically get signed and discovered. Um, it's hard to cut through more and more. So again, I think I said this to uh, Ashley, is the consistency of like recording and working on your craft while also, you know, making sure that you're trying to get it into the right hands. So that if that's if that's like finding someone's email on SoundCloud or finding someone's email on Facebook and doing a cold email blast to them saying, hey look, like I just finished my new song or cover. I covered my favorite artist. You seem to be the manager. Would love to get your opinion on it. And and just asking for real feedback instead of like, hey look, sign me. People will artist managers will definitely respond back if they like your if they like your remix or their or the cover of it. If you're just asking for feedback, they will probably get back to you. I've seen that happen a lot of times actually. Okay. Thank you. All right. Good question. Everybody, round of applause. That's another good question.